Hello. We Hello. are going to be making bags today. Look at all these sizes. We have seven different sizes. I think this will be really fun. I'm going to set this aside for now. Here's a little throwback. Who remembers this paper? Uh, this is one I did years ago, and I've still saved it. Ugh, loved, loved, loved this butterfly paper. So any paper you have is going to be fun for doing these. And I love how they stack because you can just store them when you need a bag. Pull them out. You've got your own bags. So we're going to help you today with a little bit of your last minute wrap, whether it's for now or for birthdays. And I'm all buttoned up. You are. <laughs> That's because I have two t-shirts under it. And it, I don't, okay. don't want to look you know, okay. non-professional. So the other thing we're going to do, so those are a standard pattern that I've done before and um That'll be really fun. And then this was a gorgeous gift that I got from my team member, my downline, uh, Sandy E.B. from uh, Wisconsin. So I said, how cool is that? Sandy, I spelled your name wrong. I spelled it with a Y instead of an I when I did it. And I knew it didn't look right. Is that funny? But she sent it in this bag, which is made the same way, but it is perfectly shaped for this. So we're also going to talk about how you start with your gift and create a bag to fit it. And she decorated the front, so I just want to point this out too. How gorgeous is this? I'm not doing that, but go ahead and decorate. These bags are all meant to be decorated. Hang a tag, but isn't that gorgeous? That's yeah, beautiful, Sandy. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Yeah, Tim is trying to look professional. He thanks you for that. So I said, yes. <laughs> Tim is. Okay, but you know, for oh, before we have mail, I have a couple of announcements. It is free shipping day if you have a $75 order or more before tax and shipping. So call me if you need help with your order. If you have questions, it is a perfect time to uh, stock up on supplies, uh, you know, adhesives and cardstock, any inks you have your eye on, anything in the main catalog, anything on the clearance, anything discontinuing. So, and then of course you get a wonderful gift like this for me. If you've already gotten one of these this month and you end up placing another free shipping order, I'm going to send you something else really fun because that's just what I do. I think nobody can have enough of these. <laughs> well, and you can re-gift them. So see, I can help take care of your birthday gifts, you know, because you might not get them in time for Christmas. But you can still get gift, gift cards from me. And gift cards come with free shipping when they're redeemed. So get one for yourself. And today is the last day at the moment to get the two card kits that I have out. One of them is ones that I put together. If you missed this adorable counting sheet back when... It was offered. You get that. Papers. And uh, six cards and envelopes and all the supplies to make two each of three really fun cards. So that's really cool. You can put that away since today is the end of that. And then there's also, for those of you, you know, and these are all going out in the mail tomorrow. So, you know, there's no guarantee by Christmas, but it's priority. So you might. And if you just need, like, this is like a great little, little gift, I think. This was the Penguin Playmate paper. This is all just fussy cutting, but it comes with three cards. They're assorted because it's just all the kinds of cards I'd left. But these are all fussy cutting, but notice how big these images are. They're this really, oh, they're really easy to fussy cut. This is a perfect craft to do for kids or with kids. So you get that papers and cardstock, uh, everything you need to make some fun cards and an inspiration sheet with some more ideas. I think, I think that's it. And and our product shares are up too. I need to change the picture on it. It's an old, old picture. But by the time we actually get the paper, somebody will up. You know, it's on my list of things to do. So so if you're ordering today, this is the host code, A-2-V-E-M-E-S-Y. If your order is 150 or more, don't use this because you get the host benefits. Be, be messy. Very and it messy. is a very cold, snowy day here. And oh, I think about some of you in Louisiana, if any of you are on here in Louisiana. Just all the people that are having really difficult weather. So we're really thinking about you today. We're just staying cozy indoors. And we're so glad we have that we're not going to be shoveling ourselves. So and we are just on the verge of it. We did not get tons and tons of snow. The cuss. But of course, if we start with, we've got mail. Yeah. Oh, do we ever? <laughs> and we're going to settle in. It's Christmas time. We have mail. We actually have a gift. Should we do the gift first? We just get yeah. out of the way. This yeah. is... Yes. <laughs> and Tim did come show me this. This is this is so perfect. This is from I just have to show you this absolutely gorgeous card, but it is. This is from Lori Born Trigger, who is on my team. And we were together at On Stage in Indiana. 
Look at this stunning, this stunning card. I think this is an absolutely fabulous card. I just absolutely love this. So big shout out to Lori. And um, <laughs> she said to this gift, on their way home, they found this place that they couldn't resist. So this is really, this is real. Okay. This is yours. Okay. This is Look mine. at this. Titus Bakery <laughs> and Titus Bakery, baking at family goodness <laughs> yes. since 1980. Is that just, you know, I love, we're I not it. big gift givers, but I just love it when you see something that makes you think of a person. That's when I like to give gifts, kind of those surprises. So anyway, is that just fabulous? They're probably relatives. <laughs> that is just absolutely wonderful. So I had to start with that. I feel like, you know, we're having Christmas early because we're doing gifts. Then... We've got cards. Oh, yeah. 70 in Florida. Yeah, just rub it in. You know, it's all. <laughs> okay. Gotta... Okay. I have a stack of cards. Okay. Here. Get slide over this way. Put it over there. Oh. We have to go down. Oh, oh, that's right. We have to go down so we can see the cards. Okay. So let's set this aside. We don't even know where to put stuff. Okay. We have this new table and it's wonderful and it's bigger. But you know, with crafters, there's never enough room. <laughs> it doesn't matter how big something is. <laughs> and it gets smaller as we work with it. Okay, we are going to settle in. And you know, you can do screenshots if you see things that you want. Okay, we just need this accessible for later. Okay, so we have from, from um, Jackie in Michigan. And I'm thinking, oh, I was going to, I think it's who I just talked to yesterday, but I won't say a last name since it's not on here in case I'm wrong. But how pretty is this? Look at this die and look at the sponging underneath. What a cool background that, oh, oh, oh Tim, look at this. Marry everything. There's for you. It's got the cow there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's that hilarious. Yeah, I like but I love that sponging background in there. So if we ever travel that away, we absolutely need to check out the Titus Bakery because we'd like to, Tim would like to get a picture of him oh, there. So he would absolutely do and that. And a couple so. of donuts. Kathy, it was nice talking to you yesterday too. So you guys feel free to call me with questions and stuff to check in. So it's just great. Um, the kit you ordered just directly from me. So um, you can just email me or message me here and I'll send you where that is. Patty Bideney. An, a lovely team member. Oh, how cool. That is very cool. Love this. So we've got one pattern paper here, one here, and the lovely poinsettias. Aren't those pretty? And all the yeah. little, different little uh, layered die cuts. That is awesome. That is awesome. Anyone else? I should remember to put a thing. Is But really, you just can e email me. She's a cat person. Yes, she is. That is fabulous. Joan Ballinger from Minnesota. And... And, um, oh, and this is a thank you. This is so fun. Oh, this is so fun. But I have a, there's a message. I have to read that later. So I can't read it now. But she thanked me for showing how to make this. And then she sent me one that she made. Oh, this is stunning. See, this is, remember, we made these a few, um, a couple of weeks ago. How adorable. And look at, you change the paper. You change the whole card. That is gorgeous. I love that with the added snowflakes there. That's gorgeous. And save that for, so I read it, read it before. As soon as I get off, I like to finish reading them. Deborah Wallace from Pennsylvania. Ooh, this is pretty. That is. Love the wreath on the door. Ooh. And do you see how she's made the door? Yes. Just and with the four rectangles sponged and the little door handle. I open these and look at them. And I just, the first thing I noticed was the sponging. Yeah, it's not, and it really makes it look like a yeah. door just with that. That is just, that is gorgeous. Yep. That is beautiful. Tanya Reddig from Wisconsin. Oh, so I was checking this. Oh, that's pretty. And this we've got on the inside. This is really a lovely stamp. I think that's really fun. And look, we've got the star up there coming down. That is just really elegant. And notice how she's done her paper instead of centering it. This is a whole nother design thing where it's all down to the corner. And you've got your three colors there. Oh, yeah. So very cool. And the star is perfect coming from a, that quarter. Yep. Carmen Melendez from Georgia. Oh, this is stinking cute. Oh, look at this with the Santa and the trees. Oh, that is a stunning thing. That is beautiful. I love yes. that. 
I love the whole thing about it. This Santa designer series paper, I think is still available, but it's going out, but this is a stamp set. There's also kind of something like that in the designer series paper. I love how she's added the trees. Pop this out. Oh, <laughs> how cool is that? Okay, Jackie Hills, it was. that. I was going to say that that was from Jackie Hills, but I, and I knew the state was right, but I thought just in case. Uh, and her brother Ken. So uh, yes, and we were talking yesterday and figuring out a bunch of stuff. So it's cool. I have been on the phone with some of you lately, and I know I have more calls um, that I would like to make, but you know, I'm really better off if you call me. So it's just the reality of life here from Hawaii. And this is, okay. Thank you for her birthday card. I'm thinking, can you read that first name? Nina Rapaline is her last name from Hawaii. And what another cool. I think Nina's her first name. Yeah. Okay. I think that was, yeah, no, I, did I read that right? Yeah. Okay. And you guys, this is just punches. I think it's so fun how you can just take paper. Yep. And layer punches and put your words on and just make a fun thing. Oh, you guys are loving these cards. So wonderful. And she thinks that we're a blessing. We could look at cards all day. I said to Tim, now we have a lot of cards today, but they said, that's a fine. We'll just settle in. So we're not in any rush. If you come back to see the bags, you just scroll through. Meanwhile, enjoy all this. Take screenshots. Helen Gall from Wisconsin. Oh, and a fun letter in here too. And she and her daughter stamped together. So it's Helen and Wendy. And this is a gorgeous or just to put the ones aside that have I know. I've already, uh, well, I guess I have to, I'll just look through them all again I've anyway, so it doesn't matter. He's them, already mixed so them I'm up. Sure. Look how pretty this die is in the background. Yeah. Gorgeous card. See, I have my cup of tea when we're done here. And since we can't go out today or anything, I'm just going to sit and look at all the cards again because that's what I like to do. Karen Dixon from Iowa. Oh, we're really on a thing with look at all the dyes we've seen today. Look how pretty this is. Lattice. This, uh, this lattice work dye and then things on top of it makes nice. just such a fun setting. And then all the little pieces there. That is beautiful. And the bling made a yep. hole in the envelope. Oh, but it came through. It did. That's true. That's perfect. Sandy Bennett from Ohio. And another very, oh, very simple, but very fun. I, I love I'm pointing out really simple cards. That, look, this is in two parts. So that's embossed. Mm -hmm. And this is just accenting the paper. The pretty poinsettia or poinsettia. poinsettia. Paper. We're having that discussion, which one is correct. And I it, guess they're both correct, but I like poinsettia. What do you guys say? <laughs> so, um, do, do, mm -hmm. do wreaths have holes in the middle? So it's kind of like a wreath without a hole. Kind of. You could turn it into a wreath by putting one. But yeah. I just love how it accents the paper. Mm -hmm. You could do this kind of design with any kind of fun paper that does the thing. So it's very cool. What is what? What am I doing on Sunday? Am I singing someplace? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> Let's talk about that. She wants to talk about that. I'm singing I don't know why choir. he's singing in choir church, which he has never done in his life. Program. He hasn't sung in a choir since uh, when school. he was in Bible high school days. So, so he, he's pretty excited about, about doing it again. So yeah. that's been pretty fun. And I was telling you before that he did ask about, you know, because of his reading ability, but it's working out. Deborah Robke from Iowa. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, oh, this is that lights of gold paper. That is just absolutely gorgeous. And, and you know what? So many of these comments inside are how much people appreciate being a part of the Back Porch Stampers. And just know we appreciate you. People there just send each other cards. And it's just such a caring group. But I love this, how this is the black and red. And we have the nativity right there. Yep. That's really a very pretty. Yeah. Yeah. Tim, sing away. Yeah. He won't sing for you guys here, though. No. So don't, don't, don't give him permission. <laughs> Phone oh. number to contact me is 612-929-1277. I will try to remember to put it in the show notes too, if I remember afterwards. Um, this is Ann Schillinger from Pennsylvania. Oh, this is, oh, this is beautiful. I was just looking at the stamp set the other day. Uh, this is the pomegranate set that was, I think it was from Celebration last year. And I was thinking about it because I was looking for ideas of things to do with it. And I thought, you know, it's just very interesting. And I love how she's done this background. Do you notice the sponging? Off on the side there and there. That is a gorgeous card. And Anne is from a great town. This is also really an interesting choice for a Christmas it card. Is. Christmas tree. And, and I love that. It's just kind of fun to do something different. Where is she from? Beth oh, she's from Mount Bethlehem. Mountain? No. No, Mountain she's from Top. Mountaintop. Ooh, that is a that is a good name. And then we have from 
Oh, sometimes it's hard to read them when the stamp is right over it, but this is from Paula Brown from Georgia. Oh, we have a couple from Georgia. This was my favorite. Oh, this nativity set is just stunning. This is not retiring, I think, but it's not going to be in the catalog. They said it'd be online. Something weird about it. So I would say we aren't going to notice it if it's not in the catalog. So I have no idea. But otherwise, this is one. If you love this, I encourage people to get it just to be on the safe side because I'm never sure what all that means. But that's really fun with the different blues. Mm -hmm. Just love that. The light of the world. May God's hope and love shine in you this season. That is awesome. Then we have Roberta Miller from Virginia. Oh, love the barn set. Look what she did here. This is interesting. So she's got a whole setting. And I have to figure this oh out. Goodness. This is, because I'm not exactly sure. Is this, what kind of adhesive? Shrink if she's on here, it almost looks shrink, shrink wrap, but it looks like. Shrink wrap. Um, an adhesive I love sheet. It. And you see how it kind of goes over the edges. It's almost like a little glow around the trees. It is very cool. Oh, and what a. What a cool look and what a cool thing that would be to do with kids. They would just love this effect. And I love that barn set. That is retiring. I just had a realization that the direction that the boards make on a barn is very interesting. Because mm -hmm. I'm not sure how many. Anyway. Sharon Smythe from Minnesota. Ooh, another fun layout. And we just did a whole class on tags. And look at these are tags. She's got two tags going this way and then her accent in the middle. How cool is that? Love the glimmer paper. Very fun layout. It is. Then we have Darcy Nelson from Colorado. Oh, and beautiful white on white with a little silver. Uh, the white on white is always, um, and she's thanking me for the card kits that I send when I when you place an order. I have to see if you can kind of see the, oh, there. I think you can see it. Do you see the texture? So this is a white house, just a little bling on the tree and a little silver. That is that is gorgeous. A very, very classy card. Home of the Air Force Academy, Colorado Springs. Beautiful, love that. And then we have, what you mean tell me? There are all kinds of things with letters in here. Okay, we have Vicki Simpson from Tennessee. And how cool is this? I I'm gonna have I'm gonna have some fun reading to do I after this. I wanted you to be surprised. <laughs> I have some fun. Uh, and this is you remember when we did the stamp sort and stack, but it wasn't in that order, but something like that. Silent night. This is like that with just one piece of paper, so it's cut apart, kind of like a puzzle. And look at the cool background. You could cut your paper anyway. Um, I always laugh because people want a pattern for something, but do you see how these could be mm -hmm. anyway? And then she's using a large piece to be her accent. Mm. I like that creativity. And then we spot. have Peg Dotson from Montana. Oh, look at this. We have a moose here. Look at this Christmas moose. Oh, Ooh. how cute is that? What kind of card is that? Um, well, this is another fun fold, and I'm just going to give you a little hint. This is We're doing a fold like this in one of the card kits that I'm do, doing for January. So I'll be showing those those later. But I thought, isn't that cool? So it stands up like that. How cool is that? Love it. I like the combination of colors too. Yeah, and really unusual. It is. With that. So very, very fun. So keep that in mind, because you know, when I send the card kits this month, I'm sending gifts because it's Christmas. Then in, in January, I go back to card kits and there's always one fun fold in the three cards that you get. So it's all fun. You're going to love it. Jessica, Napolitano, I never know how to say your last name from Florida. Oh, Tim. Yes. This read is it, for read you. It, read it, read it. When I saw these stickers, I thought of you as a bookworm. I put a sticker inside the books that I lend so they find their way home. Oh. What a good idea. Oh, that is so perfect. <laughs> oh, and it. look at this stunning card. This is absolutely gorgeous. And she did the inside too. And there's a letter in Another here. Another letter. <gasps> look how pretty that is with the dyes and the snowflakes. That is gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. Jessica, thank you very much. I am trying to go a little quickly just on all things and go, but you know, we could spend 10 minutes on each card. It's just so fun. Bonnie Olive from Idaho. Don't think so, we had an yeah, Idaho one yet. I'm not going to put this back in. This is going to me. Yeah, that's, that's your gift. You get to keep that. Oh, how cool. And I love, I just love getting folds that we've done before. Um, because it's just a reminder and you guys always do a different paper. So it just looks so different. Look what a beautiful card this is. Do you remember when we did these? Mm -hmm. This is folded over. 
So you're seeing it's another card that shows both sides of the paper and love that poinsettia paper and then the kind of poinsettia there. That's very that is gorgeous. That is a beautiful card. And then we have from, oh, I love snow, Sandy Kane from Florida. Oh, I love it when uh, you Florida people send snowflake cards because it's kind of <laughs> like, you know, you're just thinking, yeah, silly you. I can just enjoy this from afar. <laughs> but uh, this paper is so cool. And look what she did. Look how simple and elegant this is. It's just the paper on two layers. That's been embossed. Look at the words across here. That is absolutely beautiful. It is. Mm -hmm. Didn't we see in the weather that some place that was very far south got a bunch of snow? Well, I think a bunch of people got snow. I think Arizona yeah. got some snow. Yeah. Well, that's right. Um, and I know Florida does get snow. <laughs> hey, uh, we've been there when they've gotten snow, but just in general, because you guys are always the ones on here saying, oh, it's 70 degrees here. <laughs> I just love that. <laughs> Doris Pollard from Nevada. Oh, this is a fun fold. Look at this. This is like a dreidel. Mm -hmm. Isn't that what that? And look, we've got the, oh, that is so cool. And it opens like that. Oh, I love that. I have to say that as a pattern, because that would just be a fun pattern to do for all kinds of things well, whatever that's sweet but, it's yeah. so much. but i love that tammy giving gibbons from washington oh, one of my very favorite and this is thankfully not retiring these dyes i love this i love how she put that little christmas paper look at the trees behind there but i love this dye with the birch and then the leaves and she put the words right on the leaves let heaven and nature sing that is gorgeous 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 card um, LaVar said she's seen enough snow. Yeah. Uh, LaVar, you're up in a uh, near Rice Lake and we were, we were seeing that they got like 12 inches of snow and it wasn't done on the news last night. We're watching all this while well, we had like one and a half. <laughs> I don't know. So, um, it, it's still coming down here. It is gorgeous. We're, we're hoping it's enough for the plows to come and scoop us out. Cause it's such heavy snow and it has to be two inches. But see, that's where we're at. We're hoping we get two inches. Okay. Mary Fogarty from Florida. Oh, we have a lot of Florida people on here. This is so fun too. And look at this. This card is just cut half off the front. Put your accent piece here. And how pretty. Love our little accents. Mm -hmm. This is on white. And then it's here. So on tone on tone. Okay. And this is Shannon West. And she's from the home office. So Shannon West is a district manager here. Read the out. Oh, oh yes. Okay. So Tim, Tim, I was doing class when this arrived. Maybe you read that last week. And well, I read it in the private club, yeah. in the All Good Cards Club. Yeah. He came in and interrupted and said, Karen, alert here. You have to read the outside of this envelope. <laughs> because, you know, um, <laughs> this is so fun. And I so relate to this. You'll get a kick out of this because this is, this was her envelope, was all sealed. Hi, Karen. I meant that to give this to you in, in Indy. Then it got lost until now. <laughs> so a bit of belated congrats. Thanks for all you do. Hope you're well. And I thought, I so relate to that. And look at this fun little card. And it's for and getting another sales. look at the, the flare with Karen. Yes, and the decorated on. Yeah, that's cool. But she did mention Tim. So Tim yeah. was thrilled. <laughs> another amazing year. Yeah, dated November 11th. I am, okay. And she just listed for all the different categories I was in. But how, how sweet is that? And again, another really simple, lovely card. <laughs> so that is just great. Oh, um. LaVar and Rebecca, you guys might get another 12. Oh my, I can't even imagine 24 inches. Deborah Albra Arblaster from Ohio. Oh, this is, it would help to do it the right way. But how pretty, look at that mm -hmm. gold um, pine cones and little shimmery leaves and the pretty paper. Very lovely. Well, I hope you guys don't have plans, you that are getting all the snow. Um, and this is, um, this is actually for my, for my mom. Set that aside. Yes. My mom has RSV, um, but she's fine. She's going to be moving back to her own room tomorrow, but she's been in isolation for a week. So I'm um, just saying that. So it's just, uh, and right when she's put in um, isolation, Tim had stopped by to visit her and she wasn't in her room. And he asked her and said, oh, she's in isolation. And he couldn't go see her unless he totally garbed up. So I didn't want to. So we're, we're waiting for that. But they said, you know, my mom just kind of flies through stuff physically. So um, she didn't get very sick. And actually, Tim said it looked like he looked in the room. It looked like she was really enjoying all the personal attention she was getting in isolation. So, <laughs> you know, I had a private room. And, <laughs> and so anyway, this is pretty fun. Um, 
Uh, so anyway, um, I, I just want to say that because I know some of you guys ask, ask about mom, but other than that, she's doing she's doing well and she's just a trooper. So I thought it was anyway, but there's a whole lot of things going around. So we, you know, Catherine Connor is from Ontario. So a Canadian, we so appreciate having you in our lives. And look at this with the tree punch. This tree punch is on sale and I love this tree punch. And look at the fun trees Ooh. and the lovely Merry Christmas. It's so fun to get things from other countries even that um, Rebecca on here and LaVar are sisters. And Rebecca saying, LaVar will not agree with me, but all the snow is just stunning. Okay. <laughs> so they appreciate the snow differently. Where is she? What, you what know, city is she from? Um, Toronto. No. No. She's from Toronto. Uh, oh, Toronto. They don't pronounce oh, it. Oh, okay. So the second T. <laughs> I love how we all have different attitudes about the snow. My feeling is if it's not, if I don't have to go anywhere, and I can just sit in and craft and look at the lovely snow. I'm fine. But I do think about, I hate it when the traffic is bad and people can't get out in emergencies. You know, I care about that. But um, I'm just thrilled that I don't have a day job that I have to get to. The Wan Rice from Minnesota. Oh, another snowflake card. I'm uh, I guess we couldn't have picked a better time for uh, snowflake cards, could we? But how pretty is this with the snowflakes? On the, and um, that is stunning with that paper and that little bit of sea green foam. Yep. Coming through. That is gorgeous. And beautiful. Another letter. Yep. Yeah, beautiful. And this is an evergreen tree from Baxter, Minnesota. We have a tree farm in Baxter. Used to. But how fun. Okay, so we know Baxter well. We and we have a our church has a camp up in Hackensack. So we actually go through Baxter. Baxter. Um fairly often like once a year anyway. Oh, this is a gorgeous card. Oh, and she had another letter to read. So this is so fun. Barb Wilson. This is, <laughs> I just, I can't wait to settle in and read all these letters. It's so fun. Barb Wilson from New York and another absolutely stunning card. Okay. So she has this poinsettia on vellum. It's embossed in silver. And look how she's layered it on a silver star. That is really unique. I've never seen that done. And that is gorgeous. It makes just a lovely background for that. Is that just fun? It is. Uh -huh. I think the element of surprise with Karen is worth it. You know, I, I'm not going to tell her <laughs> anything anymore. I'm always going to want to be surprised. <laughs> well, see that I do like being surprised. That's a trade off. But then I see letters and I think, oh, I, I would have liked to have read the letter in case there was something that I should share too, but I'll settle and enjoy it. Okay. Barbara Wasco from California. And this is one of my favorite stamp sets. It is gone now. And this is an absolutely gorgeous card, Barbara. That is gorgeous. Look at that. I love all the different colors and I love how she's used this, this paper, you know, it's just different. You wouldn't think of it as Christmas paper and you just kind of work with those Very colors. Nice. That is beautiful. No letter in this one. Pauline, you live 14 miles from Hackensack. Oh, so a bunch of you live, might live up in that area. So yes, yeah, so we go up through, you know, Little Falls and Brainerd and Baxter. So it's just fun. There is a little short letter. In there, so. Gail Peterson from Wisconsin. And I just talked to you recently too. And how cute is that? Oh, and I love this layout. Do you see how this is just a strip and then we have a square on top? I just like to keep in mind some of the simple layouts because sometimes when you're creating and you just get stuck, it's just nice to have a few there to just um, go back to. That's just a, another go-to. It is great. Another from Deb Arblaster. So from Ohio. So were they both to me or, or to us? I, 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 but well, I'll double check look, again. Look oh, oh, how cute. Is... Oh, it is, oh, this is to me. That is so cute. And look how she's had the little, <laughs> the little thing on his hat. Oh, that is so cute. <laughs> how fun is that? <laughs> we try to catch everything, but hey, if I got double cards, I'm thrilled. The other one might have been to Tim, <laughs> but that is so fun. Oh, and another one. Are these? Oh, Tim, here's one to you from Deb. Okay, here's yours. Ooh, right. Ooh. that is classy. That is. You know that tree punch I just told you about? Look at that. That's the tree yep. punch and paper. It's not stamped. Uh, she she ran it through an embossing folder, and it looks that that That's is really nice. stunning in the layers. That is really. Um, a stunning and a great kind of masking card. That would be a great sympathy card. You know, it doesn't need to be a Christmas card at all. Birthday card. I kind of like anything. both of them. Oh, yeah, I know. One's cute and one's classy. Yeah, so and totally I'm different and looks. I'm classy and you're cute. Yeah, right. <laughs> Marilyn Durbin from Illinois. Oh, and another. This is this is a great card. This paper uh, was in a six by six pack. I think it's from the main catalog, but I could be wrong. So I would guess it's still available. But look what she's done with it. 
uh, and it kind of looks like snow falling here. I love how she's just done the strip mm. and added the silver. Very smart and added the snowflake. Yeah, very smart looking. Yeah, another very classy card. This could be nice thank you cards or Christmas cards for a business. I always think of that when things just kind of look, um, you know, just very classy like that. And then we have a really, really cute card from Nancy Sears from Illinois. <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> this is not a stamp of stamp, but it's so cute. And look at he's in the in the woods there. <laughs> it is so cute. <laughs> I love it. No, was this from before? Or is that still in the catalog? That, that's a, that no, that's not. Really? I just said that's not a oh, Stampin' Up! one, but it's just an adorable attention. little card. Yeah, if you'd listen to him, you wouldn't ask questions out of the obvious, you know. But you know, he's one of those. <laughs> It's, it's just funny. He's very busy trying to pack up the different cards. Lisa Holland from Connecticut. Oh, I love these gnomes. I'm going to miss these. I was actually, you know, I had my Monday helpers and they were putting together, using up the rest of my gnomes to make birthday cards for January for back porch stampers. Because, you know, this paper is just so cute to use and it's me going out now. But I love how she's got the gnome and that, and then she's got the trees in the background. <laughs> how pretty is that? And it's an oversized card. So you just, oh, and she did the inside too. Look mm -hmm. at that. Oh, and she did send me something in here. Uh, but you'll get, oh, how cool is this? She'd ordered a gift certificate. Oh, or something, that's but, right. But um, I was just saying, wouldn't that be fun to tuck in like a special letter, a picture, mm -hmm. a photo, a gift card? I yeah. mean, that's a really fun layout to see how that goes like that. So very, very cool idea. We're getting there. And then we have Wyoming Night by Choice. Oh, and this is so cute. And this... Makes me think of our tags class again, because we took tags and turned them into cards and treats. Love what she did. A couple of things I'm going to point out. Love that this is like upside down. I would do a tag that way. Mm -hmm. Is yep. that fun? It is. I just love it because it makes it more like a banner with a, like a, yeah, a banner that would be strung across. I think that is just really a fun idea. What happened was that she, she, she printed that upside down. Yeah, She's right. Like, I'll just. Yeah. I'll no, it can be a circle it. card. Too. But what a cute idea. So this is kind of the things we did in class. So if you're ever wondering what we do in the All Good Cards Club, we all hang out and make a bunch of stuff on a theme. But I love that. That's a great. And I love the red and white. How fun that is. Oh, we're getting close here. Barbara Cooper from Missouri. Oh, these pretty bells. These pretty bells dies. Uh, what's really striking to me about this card is the white and red. And we've got the fun border there and then just the touch of green. So it's really a very striking, but very traditional. Yeah, these are so, so many cute cards, aren't they? Aren't they just fun? And I think I love looking at cards because you see such a variety of ideas and people's personality. Faye Cunningham from Virginia. How cute is this? Rum -pa pum pum. Oh, how fun. And then this opens like that. This is a detachable bookmark. Oh, I remember making these. Oh, yeah. I haven't made these for a long time. But do you see that? Do you want to do the honor there, Tim? Well, this is for you, Tim. Let's do it. And this is for Mr. Tim Titus. You are appreciated. This is thanks. So she's sending him a bookmark. And that's going to. Uh... Oh, how cool Thank is you. that? Another great way that to do gift cards. That is so wonderful. And she says, thanks for all you do. You're Karen's best helper and all your trips to the post office. And I love your humor. Right. That is so sweet. Um, okay. Um, Tim was saving um, that. That is really fun. He loves his bookmarks. So that is so fun. I do. And then uh, Nancy Sears says she has sent 190 <laughs> Christmas cards. So she thinks she's done. Yeah, I think you could be. Man. I think you've earned being done. Another one from Faye. This one's for me. Oh, how pretty is this? A whole different... Um, Reef. Reef. I can't think of the words. <laughs> so I think my voice is going to go by the end of the day. How fun is that? that? Is and just all decorate. Look what you can do with the wreath. You can very, add all kinds of fun things. Very nice colors, too. Ellie Spencer from here. She's someone that helps me every Monday and love her card. So another kind of a variation on a strip card. You see, this is just like two strips. One back here, one here, and then your accent. Isn't that a fun layout? Just very easy. So another... Uh, Great Very tip nice, when Ellen. you're thinking Thank what you. to do. Carol Heyer from here in Minnesota. And look what, a, oh, the, okay. I loved when we had these in, but these are beautiful, but look how fun this is just layered on. Th these snowflakes are still, I think on the clearance rack, like for half price, they're such a deal. But look how simple. And it just makes a lovely card just really easily. I just think that's just really pretty. And two more. Luba Balix from New York. Oh, this is fun. Loved this paper. Oh, I love this paper. And look, here we have a belly band. 
So we've got mm -hmm. that log house there. And then the card that opens there. And we had Very just nice. done these recently too. Love that. That is, that's gorgeous. And I love the, love the colors. Love blacks and whites and grays. And the last one, Rebecca Sadowski, who was on here loving the snow. Becky Lynn. Uh, so this is thankful. Oh, and this is so cool. We did these. Oh, and here's another hint coming up soon. We're going to be doing another Thursday on these just a, a little bit different than we've done before. But do you see how we follow this, Tim? Do you remember you helped make these? Look how that mm -hmm. goes. And then it slides right in here. Yep. And it holds your card close. I love it. And I'm just thrilled to be reminded. I was just thinking about this the other day as I was, I'm planning out January and February since we're going to be gone, what we're going to be doing on Thursdays. Um, I thought this is another one I want to revisit again because oh, it was really fun. So I love it. Um, Rebecca said now she has so many and so much inspiration for next year's card. She better get started right away. <laughs> and Jean said she's got a hundred made, can make more, but addressing them and no idea. Uh, when the mail will go out. Uh, well, that's for sure. I think that's um, a big change. Okay. I'm just going to okay. set this here. I'm going to have you move these things. Okay. And because, you know, this is kind of, this is kind of, this is a really simple project today, but it's kind of um, takes space. So on my website and the blog post will go up at some point today and just give me a day or two and Narsh makes my project sheets and all of this is on project sheets and I would encourage you to download any project sheets you want keep them handy then you have the ideas say that fast three times project sheet this yeah this is the different patterns for the different size bags they're all on one sheet here so I'm just gonna be using this but you're just gonna create along with me so these are kind of for the set ones that stack so we are going to start with I'm gonna make three sizes right here let's start with a Giant one. So whatever size you brought, just wait for the size you're making. Uh, um, what did people bring? What what size cards did you bring? Let's see. I should fix that a little. We need to always look at that because we're always showing that. Should I start with the biggest one? Let's start with the biggest one first. Okay. So we're going to make a big box, and that is going to be this size and this size. And do you know how... Um, Sandy just decorated her so pretty. Any of these would be really pretty with a card on the front or a lovely tag or any other way you want to decorate them. Ones like this butterfly totally stand alone too. So I think what's fun about these is you can just have them on hand. So if you have Christmas paper, I tell you use Christmas paper because then you can put some Christmas gifts in. And otherwise I'm going to do things mm. that I can do further down the road. That is pretty paper. And this is some of the free celebration choice. So if I do a 12 by 12 Piece. This is going to be my outside of the box. So I'm going to do the top first. This is going to be my top. I am going to score it at two inches. And it is directional. Yeah, and this can be directional on these. And then on every other side, I'm going to turn it at three. So I just love how simple these are. These are just really easy to make. This one I'll make slowly. And I'll make one really fast and so one semi. There's three inches except the first one? Yes. Yeah, so this is going to be my lip. When we talk about making things your own, I will show you how you can just easily alter things. These three need to be the same. So I'm going to, whoops, I want to score these this way. This way. And it just, this takes two sheets just to make a box. Okay. So there's one. And I'm going to take my, I'm just going to take this and fold the lip down. Isn't that pretty? Good. Okay, now we're going to do the second one. So if you remember, if you're doing this along with me, the lip at the top is two inches. So if you remember, it's two and then three, three, three. Then I'm going to go three, three, and three. Okay, All right. and then this part's going to go down, and these are going to go like this, and like this, okay. Now, to turn these into a box, I already did. 
you're going to do a flat box. Oh. You have like an exploding card. Oh, okay. Jim is going to make a box out of one. Uh, yeah, but see, you could and do a ribbon. You could do yeah. something interesting there. Okay. Thank I'm going to take this. So on one of them, oh. I'm going to just cut in the corners. So this is the corner at the bottom. Mm -hmm. And we'll show you why. I think visually, this is such a... Because now do you see how that will take shape and make half a box? Mm -hmm. There you go. There's half your box. Wow. Right there. Okay. I love this because you... Yeah, it is a fun way to make your own and just make them really pretty. Now we're going to take the second one. And what we're going to change here is we're going to cut out the whole corner. So in that... First one, we just did a slit in. This one we're going to cut out. Cut that corner and this corner. So our piece, our piece will look like this, but just to make things easier, you know, when we make boxes, we like doing a little, a little inlay. This just gives us we don't have all the seams right in a row, then it just makes the corners not so thick. I gotta make good. Let's do that a little. It just doesn't matter. Okay. So now you take your half of the box, and I'll take my half of the box, okay. and you see how these are gonna go together. So this is what's gonna happen. This is gonna go in and make a box. Ooh. So now you can see how we just need to put these together. So we're gonna lay this back out. We're just going to put that right across there. So I'm going to put some tape on there. This is just to connect them. And I am, I'm doing this really quickly, so I'm not being too exacting. Okay, there's that. And I, uh, you know what? This could probably be a little bit higher, Tim. Can we, I'll, I'll let him do that. Because I think he might be losing a little. Now I'm going to fold this up again. I always want to do this because I want to remember which side is going to be the front. <laughs> because I don't want this to be the front where you see the little lip. So that means I want to tuck that part inside. And that's how you'll know, because then this side will be my front. And you see how totally clean that is? Mm -hmm. So that tells me these are the two sides I want my tape on. I'm going to use tear and tape just because it's really easy to see what I'm doing. And it's strong. And yep, and it's strong. So I'm going to put two there. And I'm going to put two there. And then I'm going to come over and do the same. Um, is this okay? Can you guys see this? Uh, you know, this is the only really, I guess we're doing two large boxes. Do you think that's high enough, Tim? What do you yes. think? Do you think that's okay? I think it is. Okay. Then we have that. Okay. Now I'm going to do what you do so well because you have fingernails. Peel those off. And I'm going to close these up. Make sure that goes on the inside. And now when I close this up, I like to look at the very top here and make sure the top is perfect. I'm not going to go from the bottom because the top is what you're going to notice. It's not going to matter if the bottom is just a tad off, if that makes sense. So there's that side done. Okay, who is making these? How cute. Uh, these are just so fun. You know, the big ones are... This, so this is the biggest size. Now, I know we could go bigger for bigger gifts, but then we need more sheets of paper, and you know I'm not going to do a video on that. So I think these are just fun sizes. And again, these are just fun to have on hand, like to have a bunch of these under the tree. Or again, if you're doing a little, I always think of tea parties or little gifts, and, and I just love how these stack. Okay. Now, to close this up, so I will complete this one, I'm going to take, uh, this is how I do it, and but I'm going to show a couple of different ways of doing things. Um, I have a sheet of scratch paper here. Where did it go? Okay, right here. I just had some of these. This is how I measure because I'm not big on measuring. I, I just I just want them to kind of all match. So this is just a little piece of paper. I'm going to put that in the corner. And I'm going to decide where I want this. You, know, you can see in this one, I actually saved my little thing and put it on the inside. So if I want to make more, then I have a pattern. Um, but I'm just going to show you how I did it from scratch. So I'm just going to go in here and decide, okay, I want my right there. Because it really doesn't matter where the first one goes. Now I'm going to flip it. And I can do the same. Because I just want this bag to match. It doesn't need to match my other bags, if that makes sense. But if I were making a bunch of these, I'd use the same pattern over and over. Because it would just make sense. I'm going to flip it and do the same here. 
I, I was a little off there, but that's because I can't really see that without looking down, but it'll be good enough. Okay, close that back. Uh, and I think I'm using the, the big hole here, and I meant to use the little hole, but you know, that's okay. Let's start over. Let's start over. I said this is this is real life, isn't? It? Oh yeah, I meant to do this, but we'll live with that. I think it'll still but work. I think you might need that size to just put the thing in. And then I'm just going to take my ribbon. So I'm taking this ribbon. I'm just going to do the front side. So um, for time here, and do the other afterwards. I'm going to do a knot in the back, and that will keep it closed. Now, if my hole's little, see my hole's a little big for that. Mm -hmm. I might double have to do knot. a double knot. Not that's why I was saying, oh, I didn't use to didn't use mean to use the bigger one, but I'll just use a double knot. Okay, I think right. I want it to go about that big, and I'll do that. And Lisa said she was trying to do these last year, and now oh, she and your daughter are both down with the flu. Oh. You get well. Then, then the biggest thing is you just have to rest and we'll help you pass the time. And then you dream about what you can do afterwards. I said, I, there is just so much going around, you know, with, with everything. So, um, and I know for some people, it's also just, it, it's just a hard time of year. Cause if somebody's sick, then you aren't all getting together. So I just, our hearts go out to you. That's for sure. But how cute is that? Now, if I want this closed in, I, this can just stay, or in my other ones, I would just take a, glue dot and just press it into the side and that will keep it. But how pretty is this? Oh, <laughs> Sean said she is, <laughs> she says, Karen, you're a genius. It's so funny. Thanks for the tips on how to get the holes even. All these years I've struggled with that is doable. Yeah, I'm kind of like the low non-fest and, and this is just a gift. It doesn't have to be perfect, but isn't that a great way to do it? So I, I love little tips like that too. So this is one size and now I did the 10 inch size. I already did one like this. I also think it's fun when you do a whole set of papers because you can use them out of the same paper pack. And do you see how these will stack inside if you're going to just store them? Ooh. I just think that's really fun too. So this was the next size. And I have my little cheat sheet in here just so I have to start again. And so next we're going to do the, uh, let's see, it would be the eight inch. So if any of you have an eight inch one, and we're making we're making these all the same. So this one, um, I, I, I'll I'll go ahead and make them. I'll, I'll just do the assembly and then talk about them, and then we'll talk. Okay, so I'm going to do these a little more quickly. So this is eight inches, and this is going to be really easy. We are going. I'm going to do this, Tim, and I'm going to let you fold. So I'm going to do one inch. I thought you were going to do it more quickly. And then two inches. Having me <laughs> having, you, having Tim fold and two. So it's one, two, two, two. You can always use doubles. Notice a bunch of these are that. Some are a little different to go with the sizes, but like one, two, 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 three, three, three. It doesn't have to be double, but just whatever your size is. So I'm going to do this first one. We're going to have it go like this. So I'm going to have you fold those over. Okay. And I will do this one. And we Which are way? doing again. This way? Right. Yep, that way. So I did one. Uh, and then I did say two, 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 right? I'm going to make sure. <laughs> Sometimes multitasking isn't quite. All right. And then I'm going to do the same thing. And we will close this one up. Here, I will close. Okay. You can close that one up. Here, I'll trade and you can fold that one. So we got the folding down. Okay. The quick way of doing this is to have a helper. <laughs> See if that works for you. Okay, so this one I'm going to cut in. And I already showed you this preferably time. Preferably a craft. <laughs> I'm going ahead and cutting my angle right away. The first time I did it just as a square and then showed you how we wanted to uh, change it. But since we already did this now, now I'm just going to do it as a square. I'm going to do that. And then on the second one, if you remember, all I need to do is cut in the two sides. Oh, I don't. And they're both I the same. I think that one's so a little bit. Matter. I didn't really go on the. I missed the line there, but that's okay. And then we know they're going to go like this. So I'm going to put some tape right here. Or I could use the tear and tape. I could use anything right here. I'm going to just attach these and to close this up. Double check where I want my tear, tear and tape to be. Not on this side. I mean, I want this to be the front. So these, this is where I'm going to put this. 
And I'm going to do two strips of this. Because that'll make it on the outside. The other thing you can do with bags like this, if you're someone who likes to have things on hand but doesn't want to store the space, you know, you could put them at this point. I could still have, and if you're using tear and tape, you can still have this on. I could now store this flat. You could have a stack of these in different sizes to pull out and finish, which is just another kind of cool idea. So now we'll take this off. But look how quickly this goes together. I think this is just so fun. Okay, I'm gonna close those up. I'm gonna look on the side and start at the top to make sure my top matches up. Very good. And then I'll do the same here. Oh, this paper is just so fun. Okay, and then we'll close that up. And here's the next one. So I'm not gonna put ribbon on this because we'll just keep on going since um, I will do this the same afterwards and I showed the ribbon trip. Okay, so we have that one. And then the next size, oh, and then the, the other size I'll make this. And then I already made the little ones to go with this. We'll see them all in a row. Love this paper. And this piece of paper, you know, will make just gorgeous cards as is. But this makes perfect six by six boxes because we use the whole thing here. Can I just say how uh -huh. they look very similar because they have flowers in it. Mm -hmm. But a little different, di different, little different looks the there. Coloring, yep. Okay, so on this one, this is six by six. And this makes a really useful size, I think, for things. And, you know, with the six by six, you're going to get two boxes out of a 12 by 12 paper. So it's also... Um, a really good size for that. So here I'm going to go three quarters and then I'm going to double it. So then I'm going to go one and a half and one and a half and one and a half. And this part's going to go this way and I'm going to have you do the rest. So again, it's three quarters. This is a kind of the little sheet that I'm putting up and then one and a half. It's just nice to print out and keep handy if you're someone who likes to make, if you were making some of these to store, I would actually print out this little sheet, fold it up, put it right in there. So then you always have it and you don't have to go looking for it again. Okay. Now, looking at this, as I'm looking, I'm thinking, no, oh, it's fine. I'm going to have you fold that one. I'll do this one. Yeah, this is teamwork. Maybe, Tim, we will sit together and make a bunch of these. We're not, he's off the hook because we are not big gift givers in our family. I like to do a little thoughtful things like this for people, but we do not. Um, actually, next week, I'm going to do a little tour of our living room just to welcome you to our house and we'll pretend you can come for tea. But then I can show you the new desk. And my favorite saying is that there's no I in team, but there is in Tim. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, so we're going to angle that one. It's more true than you think. <laughs> okay, and then on this one, we just go in on the sides. So I think you probably have this down by now. Now these are going to go here. Do you see how incredibly easy these are to make? I just think this is just really fun. I will, before I take the picture, I will put ribbons on on these two so they are just totally done and then remember I look at that okay so here's where I want my my tape these boxes are all um what's gonna be different about the next one we make if you notice these all stand up so they're kind of just a good size to put little gifts in or if you want them kind of standing around and then we take these off <laughs> yes Tim is always the comedian yes <laughs> It's how we got through school. Um, since he couldn't read, he just learned to, you know, uh, be a good comedian and make everyone laugh, including the teachers. And, you know, <laughs> it just helps. Okay. And I'm going to close this up. Going to come around to this. So I know some of you do, I always think of like tea parties or something. And I know some of you do other functions, you know, where you have several people. Wouldn't these be fun little um, table table place things or if you do little gifts for people to take home you could put you could put cards in these too these would be great card holders they could be great for anything but I think okay how cute is this we're going to look at these sizes and then I'm going to show you um there should have been one oh yeah here I knew there's one missing so we're looking at these different sizes so we're going from big to small there'll be a picture and then we have these and then I have more little ones 
uh, we, we'll keep on going just because we can. I think the ones I've shown you, and then this next one is also a really cute size. This one is a, fi a five inch square. So we're gonna look at the differences. So these are kind of similar. On this ribbon, just to be different, you can always, you know, not on the outside too. It just is a little different look. And then I just love this thin little ribbon because it frays. So I did that a little bit differently. And then the next one, this is really cute. They're getting really small. So I think that they didn't need handles, but I did this same little ribbon and did that fraying. Mm -hmm. And I thought, how fun I is that? So this is a four inch square. Now we're getting, so if you just want to give like a little chocolate, this would be really cute at a table, wouldn't it be? Yeah, this DSP is gorgeous, isn't it? So of course I'm using what's coming up. I think that is so fun. Uh, yeah, you do a basket handle over them too, Rhonda. That's a really good idea. I wanted to point th these two out. Look, at this is a three inch. This is a three inch and a two inch square. And I need to change the order. But how cute. Now, not much is going to fit in here. But I think it'd be really cute if you thought even a little rolled up note or something. You're looking to see what's going to fit in here. See, so which, which bag would you put that in, Tim? But I wanted to point out this ribbon. Well, I think probably this one. Yeah, so that would be cute. Or if you want it more hidden, you could put it in here or you add something else to it and put it. See, you could put that in there. Um, I don't, I guess this ribbon, see, oh, here it is. So I knew I had this ribbon. This has been sitting at home for a week and I still haven't eaten it. So it's just tempting. Karen Everyone looks even, at it and Karen, desires it. Karen see? didn't even know it existed. I don't know what's in the kitchen. So unless he serves me something, I have no idea what we have. <laughs> but I want to point out, I love this little ribbon going for these. And then we came to these and the green didn't look right. So I took this ribbon, which I also just love, and I just cut it right down the middle. And I think it makes the loveliest little look here. Look at how pretty that is and that little frayed edging. Mm. Does that make a pretty little ribbon? Very so nice. I have a whole different kind of little ribbon. So that is that. Um, yeah, you could put a few little snacks in these. So anyway, you'll see a picture of all of them together on my on my blog. So right now we're just going to stack these up. I'm just going to put them inside, kind of like nesting dolls, but we've got nesting bags. And then we're going to talk about how to change the measurements. See, how fun is this? There they all go, all seven stacked, and they can sit on my shelf, and I have seven sizes of bags. They're all ready to use. So how cool is that? So the other thing we're going to do, now we're going to look at, I'm going to be this. The other so thing. This, so I'm, the gift. The, the gift. gift, the picture frame, and the, the other thing I'm doing today, where did it go? Are you cleaning things off for me again? Well, of course. Because we showed it. That's my job. I know. <laughs> it's here somewhere. Sandy E.B., where did your gift go? Okay, this is hilarious, you guys. It can't have gone far. Oh, it's right there, Tim. It's right on the floor. <laughs> mm. We live in our messes, you guys. You know it. <laughs> so this is the gift. First, we're going to look at this gift for a moment. Let's clear some space here if we can, Tim. This is all a little messy. That's his job. He's... Mess. Look at this gorgeous um, picture she sent me. Um, and I just, I was going to just point that out again, but this is how, and do you see how this is not a bag that's going to stand. This is, oh, and I got to show it from the front side. It's the little things that make life great. I mean, this is like, she used this like a big card. So it's a beautiful canvas, but she did this to exactly fit this. So is this an amazing gift? I just love it as crafters, how we can make our packaging part of the gift. So this measures eight and three quarters by eight and three quarters. So you're going to start with whatever you need. So she decided to make a bag that was 10 inches. That would give us a little extra room. So I would do this. You're going to want it this, at least this wide. And then you're going to look here. And that is three quarters of an inch. So you're going to want it at least an inch thick. And hers is an inch thick. So that's how we're going with the measurements. Now, if this was smaller... I could measure out like that. If this is going to be an inch and that's going to be an inch, I'm going to add an inch. I'm going to add another inch to give room. And I might be cutting my paper. I might be cutting it 10 um, uh, inches instead of 12 inches. So that's what I wanted to just show. See if that makes sense. You know, so anything smaller, you're just going to add that, add that part. Okay. 
Okay. So here's the one I made, just to make sure it would turn out. And this is the one of the other free papers. There are like four different free paper choices. Is this gorgeous? So this is going to fit that same thing. But I thought we would make it here. But I'll make it with other paper from that same set. So this is my paper. And I'm measuring again her top. Now I wanted to point out here, now her top measured one and a half. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to, oh, let's do a different just... Um, because I need another one exactly the same size. Let's look at her picture again. So when she made this, this is where, uh, you know, it just nestles right in here. Let's say I'm giving something that's more of a, a longer shape and like this. So I'm going to do the size of this can totally be different. So she did one and a half. I'm going to go ahead and do, let's do two and a half and go really dramatic. Okay. Because I'm saying that I need to do both of them. Oh, I don't have the matching paper, Tim. This is going to be an interesting bag, but we'll do it anyway. We're going to pretend they match. I'm going to go really bold and go two and a half. And then I'm going to go around and do one inch. Because it's going to be nice and narrow like that. Because I'm going to put in a, a photo frame or something that's narrow. So to a degree, it's the same as what you've been doing. It is the very same. I'm just changing the measurements. What is going to be interesting is this bag isn't, I, I may or may not, uh, I may not use this bag, but uh, this could be like, well, a like mirror. a crazy bag, you know, crazy. like a crazy quilt. Yeah. I'm trying to think of, you know, it could be, we'll pretend I wanted it that way. And of course, we're going to take this. Oh, I'll let you fold. Good idea. And then the rest of this one's going to go by one inch. So I love just encouraging you to go ahead and change up the measurements. I mean, they're nice to have, whoops. They're nice to have just to give you something to start with, but everything's meant to be changed with. And you do know that this is going to be the back porch stampers thing. Make a bag of any size using this kind of style, but you can change the measurements. We're, we're all about whatever, whatever works. I may have to make two bags and not, oh, I'll put this one together and we'll just, we'll just live with that. It'll be kind of fun. Now you're gonna notice the bottom down here. Oh, let you fold it. It's much easier for me to see on the folds. These bottom pieces are much smaller when I'm doing this. And I just love that it also works. The only difference will be this won't stand. This is like a laying down bag. So I have this. There's nothing down here. That's because I already attached oh. that. Oh, so see, we're, we're, we're good. He's looking for his missing piece here. <laughs> it's going to be, you know what? We'll put this together and then we'll decide which paper we like best. <laughs> oh, I love this paper. Somebody's commenting. I kind of think that should have been going that way. Eh, might be a little direct. I love flowers on black. So I also find it's interesting, but I think sometimes um, things have to just, grow on us you know so it's just kind of interesting but here i'm going to do the very same thing so i am going to one of the things i love about this paper is it has got a lot of sheets you can fussy cut and i love to fussy cut so i love that i can get a bunch of things to work on and i put this <laughs> and, now, and now we're going to fold it up but <laughs> I, did, I think you put it over so me. sandy I, I did oh i'm losing my touch i've been doing it too long here but you know what i mean uh, I did. I didn't center it. Oh, Tim, you're so observant. Ooh, Let's late. see. Too late, though. Um, yes, you could have said that before. Well, this bag may just not be used, but um, <laughs> I'll put your present in it. Mm -hmm. Actually, Tim and I, for our Christmas present together, we are going out. Going out tomorrow night to dinner with friends, and then we're going to go see Les Miserables down in the Orpheum. We have not done anything like that in so many years. We are so excited about doing that. So that's our Christmas present to each other. Ooh. Okay, and then we're gonna close this up. And this would be closed up the same way, so I don't even need to finish it. But I wanna close this up and look at the two sides. Okay, so we have this. Wrong side. And I do yeah. think, see, that those are upside. Well, I don't know if they are upside down. It might be just part of the paper I showed, or I like this one. Yep, I do too. I love this one. I think that's just beautiful. And I love this one. And now do you, if you notice the difference, the only thing that's different is this is shorter. So this could even be half and half. So I think what's really fun is that you can take any of these ideas then and make this to match whatever you have. 
So, uh, guys, I think that's a wrap. So, <laughs> and it's hard to show all these different sizes all together. But can I come um, back? You yes, do come back. And he's already gotten rid of everything else. So we will end with the three bags from long ago to just show. It doesn't matter what paper you use. I just think they're all just gorgeous. So we can't wait to see what you do in the back porch stampers. Remember the free shipping today. Call me if you need anything. 612-929-1277. I'm home all day in the snow and glad to be home. If you need anything and uh, remember all the announcements. And thanks, you guys. We appreciate you. Next Thursday, we will not be doing a live show. Um, that's why we're going to do something else early in the week because uh, we're going to have a house full of grandkids and and great fun. We're going to be doing Christmas, but we will be here on Monday night and we're going to be showing sneak peek cards from the new catalog. So thanks you guys so much. Uh, Cindy just said she has made a hundred of the star ornaments that I shared last year, this year. Oh, I see. I love hearing that. All the old ideas too. I did a whole little playlist of Christmas ornaments and they make such great thoughtful little gifts. I love hearing that. Thanks everyone. Goodbye. And uh, talk to you later.